So far we've seen how to pull out different parts of a tibble. We can pull out rows using filter. We can pull out columns using select. But what if we want to create new columns either by uh, doing some sort of calculation or some other kind of manipulation on the values that are in the existing columns. Well, there are two functions that are in the diplier package, one called mutate, which sounds like it should come out of a biology class. Then there's another similar one called transmutate, which sounds like it comes from a Harry Potter movie. If you've worked on some of the example problems, you'll realize that one of the very useful things that we uh, wanted to do with columns in this school's data was to divide them by the total number of students. And so we kept having to recalculate over and over again the total number of students by adding up the male and the female column. It would actually be a lot easier if we would just create a new column called total students and put it back into the tibble. Then we wouldn't have to keep calculating it all the time. This is the kind of thing that we can do with the mutate function. So the form of the mutate function is just that you put in the name of the tibble that you want to operate on. And then you provide an argument that gives the name of the new column and how that new column should be determined or calculated. So if I want the new column to be called total students and I want its value to be the total of the male and female columns, then all I have to do is use the equal sign and give the two column names that I want to add up. So um, as with all other things in R, this is a vectorized operation, so we don't have to go through one row at a time. It will, it will add every value in the male column with its corresponding value in the female column and create a corresponding value in the total students column, which it will place at the end of the uh, existing data frame. So if we look at the values that are in schools tibble right now, we can see that the very last column is called map location. Now, if we go in here and run this uh, line of code, we can see that it has uh, now created a new column here called total students. However, I didn't assign this to any variable. So although it showed me what would happen when I performed this operation, it, didn't, it did not do it in place on the uh, table itself. So I would have to assign that either to a new table or assign it back onto itself. If I want to create a completely new tibble that only contains the column that I'm creating and specific other columns, then I want to use the transmutate function. It, when I do the mutate function, it keeps all the existing columns and adds the new column on the end, whereas the transmutate only uses, uh, only includes particular columns that I have said I wanted. So for example, if I wanted to create a new table that contained only the data that I wanted to work with, like school name, then this new students column and the economically disadvantaged data, I could set up the function that way. So I put the name of the column I want to create and then followed by any columns that um, are to be included from the existing columns. So let's go ahead and try that. If I uh, then examine what that looks like, there are only three columns, just the three that I said I wanted. School name, my newly created column, and then the economically disadvantaged column, which I added in here. I could see the same thing if I click up here. 